All right. Hey, everybody. So in today's video, we are going to look at how we can integrate Autogen MemGPT with local LMs. So we are going to use LM Studio for this demonstration. And we are going to build a simple SaaS product using this integration. So I already have videos on Autogen and how to install LM Studio. So if you don't subscribe to my channel, do hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this. Okay, so we are first going to need to install LM Studio. So I'm going to attach the link below so you can grab it. So depending on the system that you use, you select your um, or you don't you download your package according to the system that you have. All right, so let me get into it. I already installed this, so I'm using LM Studio for Windows. So I hit my download and it should get you to a UI like this one. All right, so when you get here, there are tons of models that you can download from Hanging Face. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be using the menstrual dolphin. Feel free to choose any model that you want. So we hit go. And it should take you to a bunch of models from the block. So we are using the GGUF format. All right. So as you can see, I've downloaded the Dolphin 2.1 Menstrual 7B Q5 KF GGUF version. OK, it's already downloaded. So you can just go in there and hit any model that you want. So you just type it in here, and you hit Go, and you download it. So the next thing is to get to click on the arrow signs here. All right, so at this point, we are going to this way. We are going to start our server. All right, so before we do that, OK, let me stop this. All right, so we are going to start our server. So before we do that, so this is going to help us run our models from the LM Studio. OK, and that's going to connect to Autogen and MemGPT. OK, the good thing about LM Studio is that it has the setup that mimics the way OpenAI works. OK, so we are not going to use an API key. OK. All right, so let's get into, so before we start the server, let's get into the VS code and get that ready. All right, so I already have that set up here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we will need to install our packages. Okay, let me create a new terminal for this. Say new. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to install Pi, MemGPT, Pi Autogen, and OpenAI. So in your terminal, you go to pull this here up. You go to say pip install dash r requirement dot txt. So when you hit enter, it should install all the packages for you. I already installed that, so I don't need to do that again. All right, so the next thing is we get into the code. All right, so we import Autogen, we import OpenAI, we import MemGPT. So we are going to use this to create Autogen MemGPT. All right, we are going to use that to run the MemGPT. So, and we are going to create our conflict list. So for this purpose, we are going to choose the API key. So this is a dummy number, so you can put any number that you want. It's, it's not using an API key, so you can just put in any number or anything that you want. So the API base is going to be the going to copy this link right here. OK, just copy that and you come and paste it here. So that's going to be API base and the API type is going to be the OpenAI. All right. So the next one is you set your OpenAI API key, you set it to the same number and the OpenAI API base to the same number. All right, so the next thing we have to do is within the conflict list, create a conflict list and we pass the, um, create a LLM config, we pass the conflict list and the seed of 44, that's going to be the reproducibility. And you set our request time to 600 and the temperature to 0 0.7. 
Okay, so that's going to be changed anytime you run it to get a different output. So then you set a user agent. And okay, so Autogen, we pass the user agent proxy, the human admin. Right, so we don't want any interruption from a human input, so we say never. So we create our last messages to be two, the work group. So if there's anything that is generated, it's going to be stored in the work group and it's going to be stored in here, okay, under the AutoMems LM Studio folder. Okay, so the next thing is we create the agent. So the agent, so the assistant agent is going to be the product manager. Assistant agent is going to be the project manager, and we are going to give him this role, the project manager. We are going to create a system, as say say, creative and software product ideas, and we pass the config list there. So now, this way, we are going to use the MGPT. We are going to assign that to be true. So if not in use, if not use, there's no MGPT. It's going to be the regular autogen that's going to be running. So we are going to say the assist agent and we pass in the coder and we pass in um, a prompt to the system message so we can put it and change it for whatever you want to put in there. I'm seeing I'm a times X engineer trained in Python. I was first engineer at Microsoft. Okay, so you can put in any message that you want. Else is going to use the MemGPT. Okay, so the MemGPT, we are using the create autogen MemGPT. Okay, for this purpose, we want to run the MemGPT. So we are going to pass in the same prompt and we are going to initialize the group chat between the user and the two LLMs. All right, so that's the project manager and the coder. So we pass in the agents in here and then the max runs, we want that to be equal to two, we pass in the message as a list. And we create a variable manager. The group chat manager is going to manage the group chat. And we pass our LLM config in there. So now we begin the group chat with the message from the user. All right. So for, we are going to pass in there. So maybe you begin the group chat with the manage uh, message from the user. So we pass the manager. The user passes that to the manager. and the message is develop a SaaS solution designed to streamline and enhance supply chain management for businesses. That's it. All right. So this is it. So the next thing is to let's start the server. So you make sure the port is one, two, three, four, as you can see here. And you make sure these parameters are on. So let's start. All right. So as you can see, it has started. So it's connected to the uh, Autogen and the MemGPT. So it's being connected. So let's see how it works. So let me just run this. I'm going to say Python app apply. When I hit enter, let's see how the magic is going to work. All right. So then. Let me go back to right. Let's give it a second for that to run. All right, perfect. We got some output. Okay, so so as you can see, the use the using MemGPT coder is on, so it means that the MemGPT is working. And I'm saying that develop a SaaS solution designed to streamline and enhance supply chain management for the business, the project manager. So, all right, so the user passes that to the chat manager, all right, and the project manager to the chat manager. So, this is what we have. So, in today's fast paid business, environment effective supply chain is so it is giving me the steps so our steps SaaS solution is called the supply chain suit aims to provide business with a comprehensive platform that combines cutting edge technology and industry 
best practices to optimize their supply chain. So it's giving the fee, give the key features of the um, product. So it's data integration and analytics, inventory management, supply chain collaboration. All right, guys, I see this to be very useful. Um, you can add some complexity to it to make it more effective by um, by increasing or changing the prompt that you put in for you to generate code and other complexities that you can um, make it more enhanced too. Okay, so um, yeah, feel free to play with this and I'm gonna attach this to the, my, Git, my GitHub so we can grab it. Um, yeah, this is all that I wanted to show. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share and see you in the next one.